Hey guys, Mouse Hurts here. Um, I realize I need to start sharing my opinion a bit more. We live in a day and age where everybody cares about everybody's opinion. So I think it's time. <coughs> <coughs> I think it's time <laughs> that I start sharing my opinion more. If you've never seen, on my community tab, I've posted several tier lists like this. I've done uh, Minecraft mobs, um, Minecraft music discs, types of wood. Um, and National Parks. I love National Parks. Oh, I love National Parks. Um, so here I am doing Minecraft food. And I'm going to do a variety of tier lists in order to better opinionate myself in the year 2024 when everybody cares about everyone's opinion. <laughs> Alright, apples. Hmm. I'm going to give them D tier. I know you're thinking. Mouse arts, but gapples. There's gapples. And yes, there's gapples, but those are gapples and not apples. Apples are a pain to get, okay? They're, like, unreasonably difficult to get your hands on. So, yeah. Baked potatoes, F tier. Everybody loves them. But I don't like that you have to smelt or have to cook them. It, it upsets me. Beetroot, also F tier. Nope, nobody uses it. Same with beetroot soup, just nobody uses it. Bread's an easy A tier. I'm not as big of a fan of it as everybody else seems to be, but I can respect the bread grind. Cake, S tier, not because it's necessarily a good food source, but just because it's iconic like that. And coarse fruit, A tier, again, same reasons as cake, it's just kind of cool. Not S tier worthy, but more so than it's worth, it's cool. Chicken, chicken's getting S tier just because it's uh, farmable. Like, automatically, you can set up, like, chicken farms that, uh, like, the chickens, when they drop eggs, they immediately shoot out and birth chickens down low, that when they grow up, they burn and you get the food. Which is a really good thing to have. Mutton's getting C tier. It's just, like, the worst meat besides, like, the fish and rabbits, but I forget that that's even possible. Pork chops are a solid B tier, not A tier, not C tier. They're good, but they're not quite up there yet. Um, rabbit's also going in C tier with mutton. Salmon's also going to go in C tier. It's just not that great. Cookies A tier. Um, just because, you know, they're cookies. Mm -hmm, it's, it's fun. Um, dried kelp. If I'm going off of, like, just it's their, these things' food capabilities... Um, then I'd be getting an F tier, obviously, but it's also kind of cool how it eats faster. That's kind of fun. But, um, it also smelts things fast. And if we're going to be counting the apples for their properties, other properties, and I think we have to kind of count this too. So, A tier. Regular golden apples, A tier. Enchanted, S tier. I, I'm going to assume that this is regular and this is enchanted. Their pictures look the same. Golden carrots, S tier. Watermelon, A tier. Watermelon gets so much hate. And I understand it. I understand it. I believe me, I do. But also, I like watermelon. And it's good in Minecraft. Mushroom stew. B tier. Poisonous potato, F tier. I mean, I want to put it up higher for the jokes because it is a funny item, but eh. Same with potatoes, potatoes indeed. Why are you putting baked potatoes or regular or regular potatoes over baked potatoes? Because why not? Pumpkin pie. I remember vividly. I've just remembered this. This has just come up in my head. I was trying to think about Minecraft Mandela effects the other day, and I know that this one doesn't never existed, and I don't think it did. But I still can vividly remember seeing a video when I was young of somebody placing down a pumpkin pie the same way cake was placed down. And so when Pumpkin Pie finally made its way over to Pocket Edition, which is what I was playing at the time, I thought I would be able to place it. And I was so excited. Got my hands on one. Could not place it. And I was so confused. I was searching the interwebs for a way to place Pumpkin Pie. Nothing about it. Nothing about it. So I think I, think I just made it up. But I remember so vividly there being like a placeable Pumpkin Pie. That being said, Pumpkin Pie is only going to be a tier. I just don't like it as much. Rabbit stew, rabbit stew is F tier. I want to like it, but um, if you didn't know this fact, uh, all the ingredients that go into rabbit stew would give you more hunger overall than rabbit stew does. So it's just a waste to make. Rotten flesh, B tier because of trading stuff. Uh, 
only gonna give spider spider eye F tier. Not even gonna give it the D tier because of its potions and stuff. Steaks and S tier. Suspicious stew overrated. Overrated. I don't care that it's technically the best and whatever. It's overrated. Sweet berry is A tier. I love the item. Um, in capture the flag on the hive. Uh, berries give you swiftness when you eat them, and I really like that idea. Not sweetness, swiftness. I really like that idea. I think it would be fun for foods to give more status effects like that. And cod, cod I'm gonna put in C tier too. Boom, there we go, there's Minecraft foods. Alright, now, now we've diverted from, um, Minecraft, and we now got Terraria bosses. Um, I've never played Terraria on this channel. I streamed it quite a bit on my old channel. I love Terraria to death. Not nearly as much as Minecraft, but I do absolutely adore Terraria. There's two Ocrums for some reason. But, um, we should have every boss here. Which is actually kind of crazy. I feel like this is less bosses than there is in the game. But, yeah. Alright, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna kind of just do whatever order on this one. King Slime. Instantly, this is significantly harder. I'm neutral on King Slime. I like the idea. I, you know what, B. I like the idea of the King Slime. I know it's like the easiest boss, whatever, but I really enjoy the idea of King Slime. Um, I have Cthulhu as an S tier boss battle, okay? It's not the most visually epic, it's not the most difficult, but for like the first boss battle, I know I said King Slime is easy because he technically is, but most people are going to be end up fighting. I have Cthulhu first, and it is so well designed for first boss battle, I, oh, alright, I'm going to just start going in the order down the line, Akram number one, I'm going to give him F tier, b before all the console players come after me, I'm going to give the ones I've never fought F tier, which shouldn't be many of these, but I never got that far into area on the console edition to actually fight Akram. So for that reason, I'm putting him in F tier. Uh, just because I don't feel like making a never fought tier. <laughs> I love Eater of Worlds. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I'm glad that it's getting a new music track. Is that in the last update or is that in the upcoming one? I'm not sure. The Destroyer is the easiest mech by far. And also the least enjoyable, in my opinion. But I'm still going to give it B, because it's a really fun fight, still. I mean, a lot of these fights are really good, and that's kind of what I go off of. Moon Lord... Do I give... Do I just give Moon Lord the S tier? I feel like I kind of have to. You know, it's Moon Lord. Um, it's a fun fight. I just... It's a little bit hard to follow. Like, I understand it and stuff. And it's not like, oh, what's going on? Like, I know what's happening and stuff. It's just... It doesn't actually feel that epic. That might also be the fact that I once fought him 50 times just to get the last prism. It's 11% drop, and it took 50 times killing him before I got it. Which is wild. This pirate ship, F tier. I mean, it just shows up, you just destroy the cannons, that's it. Empress of Light... Is this just Empress of Light in general? Empress of Light in Daytime is something like no other. Um, it's it's just quite the battle. I the problem with Empress of Light is that she's not a required boss. You don't have to beat her, which doesn't make it which doesn't allow it to be as cool as it could be. But Daytime Empress of Light is such an epic feeling, like dodging between these rays or just shooting everywhere. Oh, I I love it. It's great. Betsy, I don't remember anything about Betsy. I'm gonna give it D. Yeah. Brand of Cthulhu. Now, Brand of Cthulhu is a better boss fight than Eater of Worlds, objectively. But I've always preferred Corruption over Crimson. I forget what this does. I've fought it before. Forget what it's called. Forgot what it does. Blood Nautilus. I don't think that's its actual name either. Fought this guy a couple times trying to get the sanguine or whatever uh, summon in my summoner run. I I like Nautilus shells in Minecraft. They're like one of my favorite items. Um, they're like my I'm the B Dubs 
to uh, um Nautilus the Shell's clock, you know. I am B dubs and Nautilus shells are my clock, <laughs> essentially. I'm neutral about it though. I like how it's designed, the fight just isn't worth anything. Ever Scream is just annoying. Not that great. Again, I fought this. Don't remember what it does or what it's named. Golem. I, mean, I don't want to give it F tier. Golem's a classic boss. Everybody loves Golem, but they love Golem because they hate Golem. It's just, it's way too easy for its stage, you know? It's just, it's such a ridiculously easy boss fight that you have to go through so much to get to, and it's just really upsetting. I'm pretty sure I fought this guy. I just don't really remember. Same with this guy. Uh, I don't remember that boss being worth anything. I'm actually going to move this guy down to F2. Lepus, Lepus, whatever it is. Amazing. I, I love this little guy. I remember trying so hard to beat him back when he still existed. He doesn't exist anymore, of course, but, um... When he did on the, uh, the version, whatever the version that was on an iPad was called, <laughs> is what I had. And I would always say to him, because he would duplicate, and you'd have to kill the original one. But he had so much health, but he didn't really deal that much damage. So I was just sat there attacking over and over again, trying to kill the original one. And then I would die or something, and he would leave. Lunatic Cultists. Another A tier. I'm not going to quite move him to S tier. But I, I do, do love Lunatic Cultists. I just... The problem is, is they don't feel like that big of a deal, because they just feel like that thing you gotta kill quickly before the pillars. I'm neutral on the UFO. I like getting them out. That's about it. Mothron, uh, pretty good. I don't even really consider Mothron a boss. I mean, there's a few of these I don't consider a boss, really. This one's name is a joke for a non-PG thing. You can look it up if you want. But it's an alright fight. Okay, the pillars. Let me try to remember the pillars. I'm going to save the pillars for later because I don't really remember them. This ogre, F tier. Pirate guy, neutral. He's kind of goofy. Plantera is an A tier. This guy's a C tier. I'm kind of rushing through this, but oh well. Queen B's a B tier. Queen Slime's a B tier. Sand person's an F tier. Santa Claus with nukes is an F tier. Skeletron is... I'll give it S tier. Skeletron Prime... A tier. The Twins S tier. I love the Twins. Uh, the Turkey... Turkey's trying to be Lepus, it just isn't. Wall of Flesh S tier. Duke Fish Run S tier. This is the one that you like can't jump in at all, the melee one, because if you jump you just get swarmed by that snake thing. I don't remember the pillars that well, honestly. I've fought in them so many times, I just... I'm blanking on them. Let's just go off of the classes. A tier. B tier. S D tier. C tier. There we go. There's all the Terraria bosses. Our third tier list is Smash Bros. characters. I've been playing a little bit of Smash Bros. recently. I hadn't for a while, and now I've started again. Um... And yeah, I wish this was in the roster order, but it's not. Oh well. Bayonetta! Not a lot to say about Bayonetta. Except for the, I feel like a celebrity in this town. Which is such a funny clip. Just look up, I feel like a celebrity Bayonetta. It's really funny. It's just Bayonetta proclaiming that she feels like a celebrity within this town. And then immediately getting ran into with a bus. But, like, also, the game she comes from and her entire, like, personality and stuff is way too not child-friendly for Smash Bros. I have no clue how she's in the game. How she got in on the Wii, no less, and then was still in on the Switch. So, C, because my friend plays her a lot, I guess. <laughs> Bowser is fun to hit around. I really like the heavyweights because they're really easy to just beat up a bunch. D tier. Bowser Jr. is just annoying. Captain Falcon. My friend also plays this guy occasionally. And I'll never get over Falco! Bunch! And then you, you just go flying in the other direction because I'm not that great at Smash Bros. 
uh, B tier. Charizard. Uh, pff, the Pokemon fan of me can't give it less than C tier. I forget. Is this Krom? I'm going to forget some characters' names, I'm sure. Like the Fire Emblem guys and stuff. I think this is Krom. F tier. Don't care. Cloud. D tier. Annoying. Corrin, I think. D tier. Daisy. D tier. Dark Pit. F tier. Don't know why he exists. Dark Samus. Don't know why it exists. Diddy Kong. Um, Diddy Kong can be really annoying. C. Donkey Kong. Fun to hit around. Not worth much besides that. Dr. Mario. Don't know why he exists. Uh, Duck Hunt. Gotta be careful there. Um, D tier. I mean, I have nothing for or against them. Um, what's this guy's name? I'm blanking on his name. Is his name Falco? Is it Captain... F yeah, Captain Falcon, and this is Falco, I think. Yeah. Um, it's funny, because you can make him say inappropriate things if you use his taunts correctly. <laughs> Um, D tier though. A lot of these guys I just don't care about. D tier. Ganon, fun hit around, but D tier. Greninja's in Smash? I forgot about that entirely. I completely forgot that Greninja's in Smash. I think that's cool. A tier. Ice Climber's funny, but D tier. Is this Roy? Not Roy. Not Roy. Ike. Is that Ike? I'm pretty sure that's Ike. That being said, F tier for trauma. My friend used to always play Ike. And it was back before I even knew how to play back on the Wii. And I would always lose in the stands. They would cheer, Ike, Ike, Ike. And I would be sitting there with my little blue Kirby ball. And I'd be sad. I'd be all over. Incineroar, F tier. Um, just the wrong Pokemon to pick. You know, there is a way more Pokemon that should have been added over in Cineroar. Inkling B tier. I have nothing against it. I don't know why I'm putting that that high when the ones I've just kind of been casual about I've put so low. Isabel, I like that Isabel's in Smash, but B tier. Ivysaur, A tier. Um, I wish Ivysaur and Squirtle would switch places and we got Bulbasaur and Wartortle. Because Bulbasaur is my favorite Pokemon. Jigglypuff. C. Ken, I think this guy's name is. I don't remember what he does. F tier. D tier, I mean. <laughs> King DDD. DDD's funny. Same with King K. Rule. Kirby, S tier. I'm not a Kirby main anymore. I used to be. I uh, converted, though. Link. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. I've never been a fan of Legend of Zelda games. I've wanted to be. I want to enjoy Breath of the Wild. I just can't. I think it's boring. It's not fun. <laughs> I, I just don't get it. I don't get the hype around Breath of the Wild. And, by extension, Legend of Zelda. But their music is banging, though. God. Skyward Sword staff roll. Ugh. What's this guy's name again? I'm blanking. It's a really weird day. Oh, I'm yawning. I'm tired. I woke up like an hour ago and started recording this like instantaneously. Anyways, he's stupid. F tier. Lucario? Lucario's basic. Of course they're gonna add Lucario. Not Ness. Lucas. I hate you. D tier. Don't remember what this person's name is. Lucina, isn't it? Lucina, I think it's Lucina. Ah, I just don't know you. Luigi, Luigi's fun to have. B tier. Same with Mario. This is like Marth, I think. Maybe. Also F tier, I just don't really know you. Mega Man, F tier, I hate you. Um, Meta Knight, just bleh, C tier. Mewtwo's cool to have. Mewtwo, I'll put an A. <laughs> the Me Fighters, Me Fighters will all get B. They're funny to have existing. I hate Game and Watch. If you main Game and Watch, uh, I'm not saying you don't deserve rights. I'm just saying 
Mm. Let's think about my next words carefully. Uh, I just don't think Game & Watch players have the same mental intellect as normal people. And that's not just an attack on AP Fish. I know AP Fish plays Game & Watch. Um, I've always thought that. Everybody I know thinks that. Nobody likes Game & Watch. Alright, at this point, the list has gotten large enough where you can't really see the upcoming options. Which is fine. But, um, yeah. You'll see them when I drag them on. Ness. Ness F tier. Awful. If I get a third row, though, you're not going to be able to see one of the rows anymore. But it's fine. Olimar. I had a fight recently with an Olimar. And it made me really resent the guy. Pac-Man. Pac I forget Pac-Man is in Smash. C. Palutena, hate Palutena. Peach, D tier. Pichu, I like Pichu. And I hate Pikachu, but why was Pichu added? We didn't need Pichu. Pichu is just Pikachu, but smaller and more reckless. It, 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 we didn't need a second evolution of the same line. It wasn't needed. Pikachu also F tier. Um, what's this guy's name? Piranha Plant. A tier. I think he's funny. Pit. B tier. No. C tier. Pokemon Trainer. That's not even a fighter. You can't include Pokemon Trainer and the actual fighting Pokemon as separate entities. D tier. Richter. Um. Uh. C tier. Ridley is funny. C tier. Oops. Only problem is now I think you can't see one of the rows. Yeah, it's fine. I'm pretty free to scroll through here without showing off a million ads. <laughs> Rob is funny. Rob is hilarious. Don't know this guy's name. F tier. Rosalina, C tier. Roy. Why does who's Roy? I don't know. This guy killed Peely in Fortnite. One of the many times Peely died was from Ryu. I think that's his name. Um, yeah. Samus, uh, D tier. Don't really care. Sheik, D tier. This is what's this guy's name again? That's not Cloud, is it? No, Cloud is the other. This guy. I'm blanking this guy's name, but I know the one he is. He has like the. Sword, and he can switch between the things. F tier, because I can't remember his name. Same with this guy. This is one of the... This is Richter's brother, I'm pretty sure. Belmont guy. Snake, again, generational trauma arose from my friend playing Snake. And now my other friend, who also goes by the same name as the previous friend, plays Snake a lot. And he likes to put me to rest and strap C4 to my chest. Now, Sonic is a Smash Bros. character. Bottom of the barrel F tier. Annoying on every single level. And if you even think about playing Sonic, I highly recommend therapy. But Sonic as a character, I think is great. <laughs> so I'll give him D tier. Squirtle, C tier. Toon Link, probably the best Link. Villager, um, C tier, no, D tier because there wasn't enough options. We Fit Trainer. D tier. Annoying. And she also makes weird sounds. This guy. I forgot he existed, honestly. Also F tier. F tier is getting a little bit packed down there. Yoshi. My friend really hates Yoshi. And by extent, I kind of do too. So D tier. But I kind of can't hate it completely. Uh, Young Link? No. <laughs> Actually, I'll put you in D, I guess. Uh, Zelda. Um, Zelda can get C tier. Is this Zero Suit Samus, I think? Yeah. F tier. Why does Zero Suit Samus exist? The Ice Climbers. Um, we already have the Ice Climbers right here. Why count them as separate things? I guess you both get... D tier. Only problem is now you can't see any of the F tier, typically. We're fighting for space here. But we're down to the last few, so it's fine. Wario, D tier. Add Waluigi instead. Now we're on to the DLC characters. 
Joker. When I first found out Joker was added, it was through like a comment or something. It was like, Joker's in Smash. And I thought it meant Joker from Batman. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was so taken aback. Because when the DLC character started happening, I didn't really, I wasn't super into Smash Bros. at the time. I'd kind of fallen out a little bit. And then I returned later for a certain character. Um, <laughs> same with Mithra and Pyro. Why are you counting them as separate characters? And, uh, Joker, uh, D tier. Hero, F tier. Stupid, I don't care. Banjo and Kazooie. Why are you, why is Banjo and Kazooie and just Banjo different characters? Again, it doesn't make any sense. Banjo and Kazooie, B tier, because they're funny. Same with the bear. Um, what's this guy's name? Kenny? No, why, why would it be Kenny? I don't know. F tier. Terry! It literally says right there. Who are you again? I don't remember who this person is. So F tier. Min Min, Bing Ming, whatever it is, F tier. Minecraft Steve, S tier right there, baby. I am still in shock that Steve from Minecraft is in Smash Bros. Every single day I get on this game and I play Steve. I love Steve to death. His moveset is fun. Everything about him is fun. And I just kind of sit there seeing Steve fight like, I don't know, <sighs> Sephiroth a lot. On like a Legend of Zelda map, and it's like, how is this an official Nintendo game? I, Steve being in Smash Bros was everything I ever wanted, and I never thought I would get it. I remember watching videos of like, if Steve from Minecraft was in Smash Bros, and all the comments were like, this would be so funny, but it would never happen because that's just crazy. You know, nothing, nothing like that would ever happen. And then it went and happened. Uh, it, uh, it was wild. Sephiroth F tier. I hate Sephiroth. Sephiroth. I want Sephiroth to die. I guess you can't really see him right now. He's my mortal enemy. But there he is. Uh, Pyro and Mithra. Uh, D tier. Because I don't really care about either of you. But you in particular are annoying. Uh, Kazuya, or whatever his name is. F tier. I don't care about him. Sora. D tier. Didn't really care. Waste of the final slot. And there we go. Those are my three tier lists. Bye-bye.